Hey guys, I'm Isaac from Contender Bicycles, and here we have one of the newer e-bike systems at the shop. This is the TQ motor. So you might be asking yourself, what makes the TQ motor so special? The reason why it's so special is it fills that lightweight category on all these off-road bikes that are a little bit more lightweight oriented. On those super lightweight oriented bikes, the TQ does very well because it's a mid-drive system, which offers you a little bit more quick kick than the equivalent weight hub drive system, which is great on an off-road bike where you might need a little bit of torque just to get over that next rocky feature. But it is still lighter weight than a lot of other hub drive systems and mid-drive uh, mid systems we have seen in kind of similar torque ranges because it's meant to be super lightweight. It may not have as much torque as the other e-bikes you might be looking at, but it still has enough to get you over that feature and it still has enough power behind it to make your days feel less fatiguing. Some of what makes a TQ motor so special is that with its lower torque measurements, it also means that it's quite a bit quieter. So if you're looking for a bike that rides like an e-bike, but also feels a lot more like your normal mountain or gravel bike, this is one of the ways to go because it's so quiet, it's harder to notice that it's there because you're not gonna hear it whine as much, that kind of motoring noise due to its lower torque levels. The lower torque level on this motor right here at peak torque is 50 newton meters of torque which is 15 newton meters shy of the top peak, uh, peak torque on the Orbea Rise, and even more shy of the 85 newton meter torque we see on a couple of the really big full-powered e-bikes we have here at the shop. So the TQ motor itself is quite a bit less powerful than some of the other brands we do carry, which might make you think, well, why would I want the TQ motor if I can get a different bike that has more power to it? And while that is technically true, there is a pro and a con to that. The pro of having a motor with more torque to it is obviously that you have more torque and you feel like you're going a little bit faster, but the con to that is that a motor with more torque is also going to be significantly heavier. Where the TQ really shines in the kind of market you're going to, it puts itself in is being a lighter weight drive system, is that it makes the bike feel much more natural and much more similar to your normal e-bike, sorry, your normal like road bike, gravel bike, or your normal mountain bike. So if you want your rides to feel more similar and feel more natural, and like when you get on the bike, you know how to use it, it feels much more familiar to you as a rider, that's kind of what the TQ is meant for. The TQ motor itself weighs 1,900 grams when compared to another bike in our store that would use like the Shimano EP8. The Shimano EP8 weighs 2,600 grams. While the EP8 does have more power, so if more power is what you were looking for, you might want to go with that. This does come in at a significantly lighter weight. The full system for this one weighs around 3,900 grams, and that includes motor, controls, and it also includes the battery. While the full system of like an EP8 RS and like the Orbea Rise, for instance, is around 5,500 grams, and that is for the 360 watt hour battery. So it is a much, much lighter system, meant for a different purpose, of course, but it is a lighter system if that's what you're looking for. The hub itself, as I said, produces 550 uh, newton meters at peak torque, which is pretty awesome because that's still not shy of what a lot of other e-bikes are producing. The bike itself, while being mid-drive, still carries a 360 watt hour battery, which is the same as a lot of e-bikes we do carry, so that does retain the same. So battery life on this is gonna be fairly good. You're gonna be looking at anywhere between four to five hours of riding, maybe a little bit less if you're boosting it the entire time. So that does depend on how much you're climbing, elevation, temperature, and what mood, mode you are using. The motor itself also uses a display on the top tube of the bike, and the display on the top tube will let you see what mode you're currently in, your speed, and it will also show you battery life. You can also use the TQ app to kind of customize that display, and you can have and you can create more display screens that you can flip through. Let's say you uh, wanted one display that will show you your odometer or how far the bike has traveled total. You can make a display for that or anything along those lines. You can look at your estimated range, current speed, your cadence, things like that, and you can actually use your phone to customize the amount of displays you can have on the top tube of the bike and use those to flip through them. There is one singular button on the display, and that one button will control through all these features, doing things like holding it down will turn the bike on and off, and then you can click it to switch, switch between displays, and it's a pretty awesome system. The bike itself, if you were looking for a little bit more range to get out of it, let's say you want to take a longer ride on your gravel bike, go hit a couple of farm roads, you can get a range extender for these bikes, just like you can for a lot of e-bikes. That would mount to the bottle cage and then plug in right here, where you would plug it into charge. The range extender will add an additional 160 watt hours to your battery life. 
Well, if you guys have any questions about the TQ motor, feel free to stop by our shop in Salt Lake City, Utah, or in Park City. Or if you want to shop this bike and any of the other models that carry the TQ motor, feel free to stop by our website at contenderbicycles.com. Thank you for watching.